Hello and welcome back. This is Proton Stars in another series of city development. Uh, today I'm going to go over the details of how to make your city more efficient in using less of your items to produce better the same results. Alright, so today I'm going to help you reduce the usage of gems to conscript troops. You can utilize the general as well if you want to develop your city slowly and gradually, which over time it's not going to make much of a difference. So anyways, let's get to it. I'm going to start from the beginning and start you off from the bottom and directly up. So the first thing you want to do is go through to your tavern. You're going to recruit your general, select epic, historic, scroll through this until you find the general called Charles Martel. I believe he is a European, this guy right here. The reason you want him is because of his innate uh, primary skill of tra troops trading speed by 30%. So you're going to acquire one of him. I've already gotten him, so I'll skip that step altogether. I'm going to go to my generals. First thing you want to do is develop him to the highest level possible for the reason being is we will talk about this cultivation in just a second here. I'm just going to bring him up to the level where I can unlock a few of the features so I can describe the rest of the information for you. It's usually about 6.7 to level 22 so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to enhance him, bring him up to level 22 5 star. Okay, so once you're at this point, you can obtain extra copies of him if you're that serious and you want to get every little percentage possible. You can ascend him with two copies, no, two, three, three more copies of Charles Martel because the most you'll ever want to do with this guy is get to the two red stars, which will increase an additional troops training speed of subordinacy 10%. Okay, so that brings his primary skill up to 40% if you do it that method. Because he has uh, construction speed as the primary skill, it allows you to add a skill book for a training speed of 25%. So by default, it'll bring it up to 55%. With the red star at level 2, we'll bring it up to 65%. Troops training speed. Now, if you're just wanting to fully conscript your troops and not have the extra capacity then you can opt out completely and not have this training capacity skill book there so the only one you really need is the training speed book you don't need any of the other ones that I have on here and the what you want to do is you want to cultivate it so that his leadership is at the maximum level possible you can ignore the other two because they don't really do anything for what you're going to use this for the purpose so if you wanted to expedite it you can just simply select leadership increase and just gem increase the first one and just keep clicking until you get that all the way to maximum i'm going to see if i can actually do this quickly anyways uh, i'll do it a little bit and you'll kind of get to the point here so already at 131 his subordinate city training speed is 70 percent right so if I continue on a little bit more, I'll just do it as an example. Let's see here, I'll get it up to 200 really quickly. Okay, so it's at 200 now, and I'm just gonna confirm that. You can see that it's already at 78.90%. So once you get it up to 500 or just a little over 500, I think you can get it to like 510 the most or something. So that plus whatever it is, current level is of leadership will bring it as high as possible so you do want to get that skill as high as possible and then if you want the maximum maximum uh, amount of refines possible then I will train uh, forge the proper set that will give you the absolute most out of this so you're gonna want first the dragon bow because it has subordinate city troops training speed 20% I believe once you build it it'll come to um, 30 percent so I'll go ahead and do that and then the second dragon item you're gonna want is the leg armor I believe it's the fearless one yes subordinate city training speed 22 so I'm gonna build one of these
Now, if you're okay with refined stones, gems, and all that just to get it up there, then you can go ahead and train, um, I mean, forge Achaemenide gear for the other pieces. You're going to want uh, a helmet, a chest piece, and a ring. So you can pick any random ring. It doesn't really matter which one. It really makes absolutely no difference. So I believe I've got one of these. Let me just double check. I don't, don't want to make it extra as I already have them. Uh, oops. And let me just check. Uh, I'll, I'm going to make the extra ones that I don't have so that I can just show you how to do this. So I'm going to put on the Fearless Dragon Leg Armor. And what you want to do is you want to upgrade the star to its maximum level. And automatically you can see that it already has 32%. Now, if you refine this, and you can get up to 20 up to 20% for all four refines of subordinate city training speed. Uh, you can go here and you can see that it is one of the options. Subordinate city training speed right there. So when you do refine this, you can get it up to 80 additional percent as the most plus plus the 32 which will bring it up to about a hundred and 112 percent now if you picked an Achaemenid gear or Ares gear and you refine those four times 25 percent will only give you 100 percent so dragons gonna give you more refines and cost you less in refined stones and whatnot and so you're gonna have the bow the bow doesn't need absolutely anything on there so you're going to whoops it's the wrong one uh, so that's the new one that I created right there I'm gonna upgrade it to star and automatically you'll see it up to about 30% I believe it was yes so 30% you do not want to refine this because it doesn't have anything other than uh, what is it called uh, I did it on this one here and the only ones you can actually get is increase the troop capacity of subordinate city. That's only if you want more troops in the subordinate city, and I wouldn't do that because it actually increases the amount of gems it costs. So let's not do that. So you're going to want an Achaemenid ring, um, any Achaemenid chest, it doesn't really matter which one, and any Achaemenid helmet, doesn't matter which one. So once you've got these pieces here, you're going to refine them with the subordinate city training speed it's that last item here on the bottom here so you want all four to be that you can get it to gold level however high you want to get it get it there for this piece this piece as you can see there's some on here already um, but you want to get it to the highest level possible which is uh, 25 percent so anywhere between 22 and 25 percent is good for all four refines so once you get that there, get that there, and then you do that on this piece as well. Okay, so there's three pieces that you can refine on, actually four, sorry, including the leg armor. So you can actually get subordinate city troop training speed up to, up to uh, let's see here. So maximum possible, you can get, you got 30% on the bow, and you got 112% on the leg armor, and you're gonna have 100% uh, on chest, helmet and ring so that's an extra 300% so the most you can possibly get is 442% from the gear alone okay so if you do his ascension you get the 10% you got the skill book and his primary skill gets an additional 55% right there okay so once you've got this set here this is the most ideal set that you can get for him. You do not need to upgrade the Achaemenide to any of the new uh, Imperial or Parthian set or whatever they are. And you do want to cultivate him to maximum because the subordinate city troop training speed will be higher. I do have one finished already, so I'll show you how much that general actually has. So he's done for cultivation. It goes up as high as 212.8% at 510 value and level... 41 so I mean I can increase in two more levels and he'll actually get a higher percentage uh, Let me just drop it up there. Oh, that's not I don't even have enough. That's okay So I've refined some of the gear here as you can see there. I got four there four there Got some four done there four on the chest now 
if you have that general ready and you're gonna go and to your subsidies, these are the default values with the current generals that you have there and most of these generals are not going to be refined for subsidy troops training speed. Uh, the other part you can do too is also in your talent there is this subordinate training speed. I'm going to flip it over to it really quick in a second here but for this demonstration purposes I'm not going to have it on for, for my uh, primary monarch skill here so you can see the difference. So the first one here is 279,000 gems. The second one, 63,000 gems. The third one is 22,000 gems, okay? Now I'm gonna quickly flip over my talent so that it uses the proper one. It's, you're gonna want this subordinate city troop training speed here on level 18, confirm that. Now you go to subordinate city troops, you can see that it's less already. And I'm gonna switch this to the general that's already refined and everything. So he's right here, click on him. From 270 down to 179,000 gems. So once he's in, you can click this button and it'll fill up the troops. I'm not gonna do it in this one because it costs a lot. I'll do it on that third one there at the bottom so you can see what the difference is. So, and then once you've conscripted the troops, you put your main general back on and then now it'll have full troops. So, if I wanted to do a level 26 subsidy and conscript the troops, currently it costs 60,000 with my Monarch skill active. Uh, actually, you know what? There is another item that I, sorry, forgot that I left out. I believe one of these has subsidy. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you want to activate the Imperial Seal as well. That's another 17.5% for my current level. There, it's already at 58,000 for this one here. So now if I flip it over to the general that I want in here, uh, Charles Martel, he's already refined for this. Already down, bang, 34,611. So now I'm going to conscript the troops. Hit that, okay. Use 34,000 gems instead of, you know, over 60,000 it was a while ago. Hit okay. You've got 91,000 troops now. Now you can flip it out, put back in your general who was in there a while ago. Put him back in. Now it's it can be over the amount depending on if you had the capacity skill book on your original general or not. So it's okay that it has over capacity. All right, I hope that was understanding enough of an explanation. I'm gonna do another one, just an example. So this level 22 subsidy has 3,400 troops in it, costs 21,000 currently with CNUT. I'm gonna flip it over to the subordinate city training speed guy. And already you can see that it's 14,000. I actually want to show you the reason why, like, if you go into one of these subsidies, say Darius, he's not really refined or cultivated or anything, you can see that if you click on the troops at the top there, his ground range mounted troops training speed is only 409%, okay? That's the reason why it costs more gems. I'm going to look at Mark Antony, for example, too. His is 614% total, and that's why it cost. 263,000 gems to conscript that subsidy. Charles Martel is currently at 943.1% and that's why it costs a significantly less amount of gems than Darius. It, it actually costs less than half of Darius because of the troops training speed in relation to his. So 900 and something percent versus 400 and something percent already halves the amount of gems it costs to script that subsidy. So if I can script this one at 14,000 gems, hit OK, change the general back out to who it was before, which was CNUT. Now you can see that the troops are at 72,000 out of 669,000 troops, fully conscripted at half the amount of gems that it would normally cost. You can do that same thing with the level 32 subsidy. So if I flip that over, instead of 600 and whatever percent troops training speed, you're at 965% with Charles Martel. Now, if you had the Ecumenity gear, like in a few of those other pieces, you can go as high as another 20, 20, 20, 60%. So you could bring that up and over to about 1,000% troops training speed would be the value, the ideal value that you'd want. Okay, I hope that was a good enough explanation of how that whole process works. I'm going to put my general back in and not do that because I really don't need it. All right, if you have any more further questions regards this, write in the comments below. 
And if you like this information, how it helps you in your uh, path to developing your castle, uh, give me a like and subscribe to my channel for further information. That is super helpful, right? Until later, have a great day.